New tonight, a grieving mother told us the state didn't do enough to prevent her daughter's suicide. The state says neither did the mother. In fact, they say the mother watched the suicide on Facebook Live and even egged her daughter on. CBS4's Carrie Codd has more of the jaw-dropping accusations. Carrie. Seven weeks ago, I sat in a conference room in a lawyer's office in the building behind me. I listened to Naika Vernant's mother criticize DCF for not doing enough to prevent her daughter's very public suicide. Tonight, in a new re newly released report from DCF, the agency is saying the same thing about the mother. The public suicide on Facebook Live of Naika Vanam while she was in foster care continues to reverberate through Florida's child welfare system. This report released late Monday afternoon by DCF sheds new light on Naika's case and what DCF believes was her mother's role in the suicide. The report alleges that Gina Kays, Naika's mother, was following Naika while she was on Facebook Live for the two hours that preceded her suicide and that during that time she wrote things that could be considered mentally injurious to her suicidal child and failed to seek help for her daughter. Specifically, DCF have cited this post on the Facebook feed allegedly from Naika's mom. It reads, you keep crying wolf, you dead, you will get buried. Life goes on after a young person that doesn't listen to their parents trying to be grown, seeking boys and girls attention instead of her books. Stacy Schmerling is one of the attorneys for Naika's mother. She takes issue with both allegations. The mother was absolutely not online at any time during her daughter's suicide. The statement that is attributed to Naika's mother was made after Naika was already deceased. But Naika's mother was told that it was all hoax, that the suicide was a hoax and her daughter was not, was not deceased. The allegations from DCF are in stark contrast to the emotion we saw from Naika's mother in the days after her daughter died. I am sick and devastated. Naika and her mom had a complicated history. Her mother lost custody, got her back, then lost custody again. There are allegations that Naika was sexually abused in foster care by a teenage boy and began acting out sexually. Schmerling says Naika's mom routinely told Naika's case manager that her daughter was using social media in violation of a court order, but it was to no avail. The report says Naika told a caseworker prior to her suicide that her mother no longer wanted her, but Schmerling says that's not true. At no point would she have said that she doesn't want to have any type of relationship with her daughter. Now, the attorney for Naika's mother says Naika was shuttled between 14 different foster homes over nine months and that none of those homes provided the kind of care that she needed. DCF says they're trying to learn from Naika's case. They're providing more mental health training for employees, teaching foster parents about social, social media usage by kids, and also making sure there are, no, are enough specialized therapeutic homes in the area. Live in Plantation, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Such a sad story. Thank you so much, Carrie.